shooting in Miami Gardens. Police today releasing a photo of the suspect. Investigators say it began as a fight between a man and his nephew before one pulled out a gun. Local 10's Roy Ramos live with new information. Roy, fill us in. Louie and Christy, well, this all happened right here inside of this community. And yesterday, we told you that Miami Gardens Police did have a person of interest in custody. Well, we now know that person of interest has been arrested after police say that man shot and killed his own uncle. You were arrested for one count of second degree murder. 22 year old Jimmy Demetrius DeSeer faced a Miami Dade County judge a day after Miami Gardens police said he opened fire on a relative after a fight inside of a unit at the Eagle Landings apartment complex Tuesday. So he shot his uncle after an argument. No bond for the nephew who investigators said shot and killed his 39 year old uncle Rodney Nalian. If the name sounds familiar, it's because we interviewed Rodney and his bandmates for Haitian Heritage Month a few years ago. Well, um, when it comes to uh, Haitian heritage, Compa is one of the uh, original uh, rhythms. His death coming as a shock for family members and friends who arrived at the community off Northwest 27th Avenue near 191st Street trying to understand what prompted this year to shoot his uncle. That's kind of scary, especially right here. From above in Sky 10, we watched as detectives blocked off the community with crime scene tape, focusing their attention on that apartment and a black truck parked outside of it. Homicide detectives say as officers arrived, the gunman was walking down from the second floor on the phone with a 911 operator. As officers entered the apartment, Rodney was found dead after being shot in the chest. People were out here crying, so technically I feel like something bad must have happened. And this here does remain behind bars with no bond. As for Rodney, sadly, we received information that he leaves behind three young girls. Here in Miami Gardens, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. All right, Roy, thank you.